A few days ago, out of the Central African Republic, there came another horrific uh, allegation of sexual violence. In this case, the rape of a 12-year-old girl by a United Nations peacekeeper. It was simply the latest in a litany of sexual violence coming out of that country, committed by peacekeepers directly and indirectly associated with the United Nations. A litany of sexual violence which the United Nations has, for the most part, at its headquarters in New York, tried desperately to suppress until my uh, co-director, Paula Donovan, took the evidence of the sexual violence uh, to the world's attention. Now, the Secretary General of the United Nations seems finally to have lost patience. His mantra of zero tolerance has now been manifest after years of passivity and rhetoric in firing the senior most official in the Central African Republic who represents him and the UN, General Babakar Gaya. What the Secretary General did not do, however, is deal with the monumental mismanagement in New York, which has permitted this pattern of sexual violence to continue. General Gaia, when he resigned, submitted a dignified letter of resignation and indicated that there was a systemic pattern of sexual violence that haunted the corridors of the senior-most reaches of the UN echelons. But what General Gaia did not say, and what the Secretary General did not say, was the following. Between 2005 and 2010, General Gaia was the force commander, the senior military official in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. During that five years, the United Nations has chronicled over 200 allegations of sexual exploitation and abuse. General Gaia was then promoted to senior military advisor to the Department of Peacekeeping Operations, reporting to the Under Secretary General, presumably overseeing military operations in peacekeeping around the world. And then he ended up as the head in the Central African Republic, from which position he's now been fired. So you see, beneath that dignified letter, there was an unwritten blemish, neither acknowledged by General Gaia nor the Secretary General. Perhaps the Secretary General, who pretends to zero tolerance for sexual violence, should also embrace zero tolerance for promoting those who don't deserve to be promoted. That was last week. I'm Stephen Lewis.